Hello there everyone welcome back to Arts Authority today we will discuss about the topic two arts notice when other arts are missing in this video we will discuss about this topic in detail so let's start the video arts do not know when other arts are missing for almost 48 to 72 hours because they cannot recognize a dead body until it begins to produce oleic acid or chemical secretions to give a signal to fellows these chemical signals help them know about the missing fellow and reach to bury it in the mydin and avoid infection in the colony. They can detect a variety of chemicals in their surroundings as their smell receptors are many times stronger than yours, enabling them to detect mild odors from a distance. The lost arts usually cannot survive and die quickly, producing a decaying odor that can get recognized by other living nest mates. Some of the nest members are crucial for the colony's survival, like queens and their absence does not remain unnoticed for long, and their number is usually one or two. Foragers and non-foragers can quickly identify when the queen goes missing after dying or getting lost from the nest. Their absence can put the whole colony at risk of death, if not replaced. Accordingly, the workers begin to feed the princess and allow her to become the next queen or get a chance to gain a royalty status and control the population. However, the absence of adult workers does not matter for the colony, because they are present in a large proportion. Most of the eggs become sterile female workers that can replace the dying ones. Moreover, they usually remain busy in their nest activities, foraging and hauling food particles, as they do not notice if one or two of their members leave the colony. Their absence does not have any prominent effect on the colony's activities as the new generation can make up for their loss. Even the nursing insects can become foragers to fill the space. However, their living fellows can only recognize the dead workers when they give off a decaying odor and the odor molecules bring their fellows to death spots. Arts are loyal to the colony and work for its sustainability in their whole life as their primary purpose of worth is to work for the survival of the colony members and protect the nest. In the same way, the queens produce new eggs to introduce a new generation to replace the old ones, as they have a shorter lifespan and die within a few days or months. The workers are responsible for bringing nutritious food and moisture back to the colony to avoid starvation and death because they need a food supply to revive their energy. So it is essential to know why these insects leave their colony. They do not get apart from their fellows intentionally but can get lost after leaving their nest for foraging. There are chances for these insects to forget the path that leads to their nest when they have covered a distance of several miles away from their territory. So they leave a pheromone trial to follow the path and get back to their nest. However, the situation gets complicated if the pheromones are wiped out due to dominating odors or flooding. It creates difficulty for these tiny insects and they ultimately get lost. The missing arts can rarely survive if another colony adopts them. The lost insects usually dies within a few days. In addition, the predators can attack their small bodies or other colony members can kill them if they have mistakenly entered their territory. Arts can understand the chemical language as they cannot speak or see very well. So they rely on pheromone signals to reach the food source and return to their nest. They can produce a variety of chemicals and release distinct chemicals in each situation to make decoding messages easier as the nature of chemicals tells about the type of message. The dead arts begin to decay after some time and the decaying bodies produced a particular chemical which is oleic acid. It has a mild odor that gets recognized by strong receptors of fellows. Moreover, the living fellows move around the dead fellows without even noticing that it is dead until it begins to produce odor molecules. However, they can identify their fellow when their smell receptors capture odor molecules, allowing them to reach the death spot. It is the only signal to know about missing one. So their antenna test to detect the odor molecules on the ground and air and detect the direction of smell to move in the right direction. They will carry the dead one collectively to return it to the nest. Thanks for watching the video.